Flag is now up and they off and racing on that 1450 meter marker. Not a bad start for them. Godfather came out well enough, but Midnight Caller is a bit quicker in the early parts. And Midnight Caller goes off to lead them with Teller's Sword, who's racing away in second. Zoom Bomber racing with the red sleeves and the red cap in third. Godfather has now found itself in a good position. The two shades of blue in fourth. Further back in running is Viva de Janeiro. Joanna's got about six or seven to make up. Full go has got the pink sleeves and the white cap. Then we go back to coming in hot. Parker Getrix is a long way in behind with Silver Clock and Fascinada. I would say there's about 10 lengths in it as they go to the 800. And in front is Midnight Caller from Della's Sword. The gallop's a good one. Godfather's in third. Zoom Bomber to the outside. Viva de Janeiro. Then comes Joanna. The filly still quietly ridden. Seven lengths off them. Full go behind that. Fascinada. Silver Clock coming in hot. And Parker Getrix to the outside. So Midnight Caller got six lengths on the field says catch me if you can pass the 400 in second now is Joanna who's starting to run on strongly then comes Della's sword Godfather zoom bombers behind that Parker Getrix going up and down but Midnight Caller has gone five lengths clear Joanna's in second Midnight Caller still in a galloping mood Midnight Caller gone four lengths clear and it's race over great ride Wesley Mowing Midnight Caller Pete's Godfather Joanna and Della's sword into the closing stages hooked out by Richard Faree and found Zilch but here's Midnight Caller who got away at the right time so Midnight Caller does beat number six Godfather into second Joanna number three was in third and fourth will go to Della Sword number ten well done to Wayo Moing well done to the Portkita family bred by the Nadison Park Stud Farm great ride Wesley Mowing take a bow that was an excellent ride getting away at the right time two more to come race eight goes off at five past four Okay, so Wesley Mowing joins me now. He's ridden them start to finish, and he never really came back to his field. He still had, I think, a few lengths to spare at the finish over there. Well done. Thank you very much, Nico. Congratulations. Well, uh, you know, this horse, I'll speak to Warwick in a moment, hadn't run for a hell of a long time, only had one run the whole of last year, and then slowly coming back. You've obviously been working him. Uh, yes, Nico, you know, um, I've been fortunate enough to throw my leg over him a few times and, you know, he's had, I think, this is his fourth run back after his long layoff. Mm. Um, so he's taken a little bit of time to sort of find his feet and get fit. But um, you know what? Um, on his day, he's a game horse. He's a good horse. And uh, I'm glad that, you know what, he can reproduce the goods for the owners and for the team. Aren't they big supporters and loyal supporters of the game, the Portuguese? I'm, I'm going to love chatting to them in a moment. 100%. So they're staunch, they're here, snow, rain, yeah. sunshine. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They're always here to support their horses and they great stalwarts of, uh, you know, the horse racing industry as well. So welcome winner for you. And I was looking at the card for next weekend. Um, I, I quite like that old soldier's eye. I've been watching it very carefully. Chatted to uh, Wayho and he told me, Nico, you know, it's the type of horse that wanting even further goes the Oaks distance and so forth. But she runs in the mile. A very good horse. Yes, um, she's also, she's a lovely filly, lovely to have an affiliation with her and obviously Mr. Khalil and the team, you know, I appreciate the support and the opportunities and uh, come the big day, we hope that uh, she's spot on and she puts her best foot forward like we know she can and who knows, maybe we might have another interview. I hope so. Okay, all the best and well done with this one. Thank you very much. Well done, that's Wesley Mao for you. Warwick's coming in, his dad's decided to take the day off from the races. Well, congratulations. I mean, was that the plan? Go to the front and make sure they run run them off their feet? Well, he, he is a strong front runner. He's always been. And um, coming from that draw, we were just a bit skeptical. So we said, you know, I'd rather just go for it. Did you know you were going to win quite some way out? Uh, yes. <laughs> he, when, he, when he started skipping clear the, the field, then I was like, okay, no, he's got it. <laughs> so tell me, what was actually wrong with the horse? Uh, he just needed a, a nice break, you know. Mm. He just needed some time off and it done him well. It's done him awfully well. Before I speak to the pot heaters, who I'm so happy to see, you've got Son of Raj in the big one in the Betway Summer Cup. Now, he is a, an extremely interesting horse for me because he may not have run to form in the, in the uh, Hollywood Bets Durban July, 
but his last run was eye-catching, and the handicapper did not touch him in that last run, which makes him, in terms from a handicap point of view, a horse that you have to look at very closely. Don't rule him out. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, he, he has the ability, you know, and we all know that it's there. He's just got that draw to... Yeah, he's a 90. Well. You drew it last night, so you, you know. didn't you try and turn it around and say it was 16? Yes. It may even be better to turn around and say it was 91. I actually <laughs> wanted to put it back and take a different one. <laughs> I'm sure you did. But look, you, 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 you've given those cards now. That's, that's what you've got to deal with. But, but, you know, horses have come from anywhere in the Summer Cup, even in the July and one from outside draws. Yes, you know what? Uh, the good horses, they always pull through and... That's something we are, we're going to see on the 25th. Yeah, I hope so for you guys. It's a, it's a big, big runner, I think, and uh, it's my sneaky first choice, actually. <laughs> Thanks for the support. I okay. uh, just want to say well done to the Fort Heaters and um, well done to my dad and the guys back at the yard. Okay, congratulations. Eh? And thanks so much. All the best to Warwick. Uh, here they are. Here are the pot heater family. And uh, Leon and Hester coming closer to me. That is brilliant because as, as we always say, it doesn't matter which horses you've got running, whether they're 100 to 1, whether they're 5 to 10. You've had some very good horses in your days. But, I mean, here we have it. This is what perseverance gets you. Who would have kept a horse for two years going with like four bad runs actually and here we go here we have it well nico let me tell you um he ran in the the, the it was the classic he ran into the derby and when they got off him in the derby the jockey said listen yeah this cannot stay yeah, yeah. put him over 1400 and you'll see a different animal but because it's, you know, those races are tough. It takes a lot out of them. And Wayo said to me, Leon, please, you know, can I put him away? I said, yeah, let's put him away. If you think uh, that's the right thing to do. And we re arrested him. Mm -hmm. and, him you know, and you know what? When I think about the days of Wayo Mowing struggling to get horses, you guys were there every step of the way because that was your guy. Oh, well, we love them so much. And yeah. I, I don't know. We these are special yeah. moments, very special. Special moments. Yeah. What, and it was my horse's birthday yesterday, so happy birthday. This horse? Yes. Oh, really? yes. Hey, oh, congratulations. It just shows you they know when their birthday is. I don't know about that one, Nico. <laughs> but I they just, are intelligent uh, animals. So. Yes, yeah. they are. Um, I just want to say thank you to Wayo. Um, he said to me, you know, Leon, any, any day now. Um, we knew, you know, he's going to take one or two, maybe three runs. Um, we were not just not sure because of this draw 11 is a killer, yeah, but yeah. you know, he loves front tactics. Thanks to the rest of the team, Warwick working very hard. Thanks to Wes, well ridden. Um, on the top there, watching him, <laughs> Warwick said to me, Uncle Leon, he's going to win. He's going to win. Yeah, he's not yeah. catching this yeah. today. So thank you to everybody. Thank you to Oz. Let's see what from here, Nico. I don't think he'll stop here. No, he's well, a look, good animal. well, look, you know, he's come back, you know, and he deserved to win with all that perseverance. You're still breeding horses, though, are you? Yep. Yes, yes, a little bit, a little bit here and there. Bits and pieces, <laughs> but you've lost none of your passion for this game ever since I met you guys. Yeah, you you remain very committed, and especially to Weho. Yes, no, we have, definitely. And tell me, you've looked at the Summer Cup. I mean, you're obviously in your stables camp. I mean, I liked a bit of Sun Raj. Am I mad? I don't think you're mad at all, Nico. Um, if you look at the last run, I think, uh, you know, the jockey just placed him maybe a little bit wrongly. Mm. Uh, but when he switched to the outside, he actually flew at him. That's mm. my opinion. Mm. Um, and I think it's a touch too short now that he goes over that uh, distance. But he likes to in the stand side track. Yes, sir. Because he won the derby there. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we were talking him up. Leave that to the okay. trainer. We're going to leave that to the trainer. The bottom line is that he's won a race the week before the Summer Cup, and that pleases me because I like following stables in a bit of form. 100%. Okay. And I hope you had your each way on it. I hope so. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. Um, I had to, you know, he used to always, so always put a little bit small on it yeah. each way. Yeah. But just before the race, I said to Warwick, I always, it's so funny, he's number seven, he draws 11. Yeah. So I like a trifecta one, seven, 11. So I went and boxed it for six rand. Oh, really? Oh, really eh? So yeah, oh, well, here comes seven and here they are. So. Wonderful. Great seeing you guys again. All Thank the you, best. Nico. Thank you, you too. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful to see the pot eaters. And uh, Midnight Caller has won. You get the background there from them and it's an upset result. And the horse is already coming through into the parade for the next.